it's Rebecca and today is another book review day and this one is the 13th book that I've read for the 2015 reading challenge. I will put a little link down below in the description box to explain what the challenge is about but it's basically to read 52 books over the year of 2015 with each book coming from a different category. And the category of the book that I've been reading this week is a book set in high school and it is The Face on the Milk Carton by Caroline B. Cooney. So I will read you the blurb and then talk to you a bit about the book. No one ever really paid close attention to the faces of the missing children on the milk cartons. But as Janie Johnson glanced at the face of the ordinary little girl with her hair in tight pigtails wearing a dress with a narrow white collar, a three-year-old who had been kidnapped 12 years before from a shopping mall in New Jersey, she felt overcome with shock. She recognised that little girl. It was she. How could it possibly be true? Janie can't believe that her loving parents kidnapped her. But as she begins to piece things together, nothing makes sense. Something is terribly wrong. Are Mr and Mrs Johnson really her parents? And if not, who is Jamie Johnson? And what really happened? That blurb really caught my attention. Um, I like the mystery and the intrigue and this strange thing that has happened and what has happened in the past. I almost had a thought of this being some sort of time travel story from that blurb where Janie travels back in time to find herself. I don't know. I, I Perhaps that's what I was hoping for. That certainly would have been a better story than this. No, that's a lie. The story, the idea, the premise is good. The way this author writes is not good. I don't like being negative about authors, but when somebody writes as badly as this woman does, it needs to be noticed. Which I find quite surprising, considering that she has written so many other books I'm not even going to count them but there's so many and she really isn't a very good writer the story like I say is quite gripping young girl Janie she's in the school cafeteria with her friends and they're having lunch and something they do in America which I don't think they do in England or I haven't seen is when a child goes missing they put their face and some information on a milk carton because people have milk in their homes and, it, and it's a way of getting people to to see that these children have gone missing and Janie notices this young girl and she recognizes herself as this young girl but it's a different name and a different birthday and she's confused and she takes this milk carton home and she starts to question her existence whether her parents are her real parents and she takes a look at them and she thinks I don't look anything like my parents and why are there no photographs of me before the age of five? And she asks her parents if she can see her birth certificate. And they kind of palm her off with different things saying, oh, the birth certificate is locked up at the bank. And we've not got any pictures of you under the age of five because we didn't own a camera. And Janie finds those things a little bit suspicious, but she just kind of lets it go. And on the milk carton, there's um, a telephone number to call if you know anything about this incident, please call this number. And she ums and ahs whether or not to call this number. And she just doesn't know what to do because she really believes that this young girl on the milk carton is her. Eventually, she, she plucks up the courage to speak to her parents or the people who she believes are her parents to ask them whether or not she is theirs. Uh, she finds out that her parents are in fact her grandparents and she is the daughter of Hannah. Hannah ran away to join a Hare Krishna group and she just left and they were really worried about her and they didn't know what was going on. They believed she'd been brainwashed by these religious people and she'd gone into a commune or something and she just disappeared out of their lives then one day she turns up at their door with a young child in hand Janie and Hannah had wanted to escape the cult of the Hare Krishnas but they were after her they didn't want her to leave and she wanted to protect her child so she left her child with her parents and she went on the run that's why there's no pictures of Janie as a, as a baby and that's why there's no birth certificate Janie kind of accepts this and her parents are slightly worried that she won't love them anymore because they're not her real parents. But everything seems to work out fine. So that was quite an interesting 
story within itself, but it doesn't end there. Janie still feels that there's something wrong and she builds a relationship with her next door neighbour called Reeve, who is a few years older than her. And she wants to travel to New Jersey where the child was taken just to see if she can find out a little bit more about the parents of this child, if they are her parents. And she manages to find their house through the information on the milk carton and looking up in a telephone book. And she drives past their house with Reeve and she notices children going in the house with bright red hair. And Janie has bright red hair. And she keeps having flashbacks of memories of different things and she can't piece them together and she doesn't fully understand what they all mean. But she knows something's not quite right. So this is kind of an exciting thing because you want to find out what happened to Janie. Obviously you don't want any child to be kidnapped but it's quite an exciting story. However, the language used to describe everything is so clunky, it's unnatural, it's painful to read in places. A few times I had to actually read things out loud in the hope that it would make some sort of sense and it just didn't. It was so... Oh, I don't know. It's so badly written that I don't understand how it got published. The story, I think, would be brilliant as a television programme or a film. But as words on a page, it is so difficult to get through. And there are five books after this to tell you what happens to Janie. All the, all the things that, you know, I, I guess she has to hunt down her real parents, find out what happened to her supposed birth mother, Hannah. All of these things. But I don't want to read it. But I do want to read it. I do want to find out. But I cannot force myself to read another book written by this author. And I feel bad saying it. But it's so true. It really was difficult. And for such an interesting story, I'm really disappointed. The only thing that I found fairly well done was was Janie in herself. She's a young girl. She's going through general growing up issues, her hormones, various bits and pieces at school, tests and you know, school life, and she's got a crush on the boy next door. And these are all emotions that are going around in her and she might not have a real family. So that was kind of realistic, but the way she spoke, the way the other characters spoke was extremely unnatural, the way they behaved. It just, it felt so alien. I don't, maybe there are people out there that behave the way that these ones do, but... I don't know, I just, I really didn't enjoy it and I can't recommend it even though the story is quite a gripping story. If it had been written better, I'd say yeah, go for it, but steer well clear of this one and of this author because you will waste your time. It, I, I feel like I wasted my time with this and I was hoping for so much. So unfortunately, I can't recommend this one to you, but I have read some other books that I have enjoyed so if you'd like to see those then please subscribe to my channel and you can look back over my past book reviews or look forward to future book reviews and hopefully I'll be reading some good books. Um, I also give out writing advice every now and then and do shameless self-promotion where I talk about my own writing and my own writerly world so if you're interested in reading and or writing then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. Bye bye!